Hello everybody, I'm Matthew McBacon, doing another episode of Pokemon Ultramoon, and I'm gonna watch some TV. Ah, uh, yes. The Green Channel has the most emotionally investing shows ever. I, I, I really do like the drama series, uh, Good Green. Uh, you see, the, the plot is about, uh, you know, the, there's, there's this guy who wears a green shirt, and, he, and he's trying to do some good in the world. But there are people wearing orange shirts who are like, No! Stop doing good things! It's counterproductive! But you know what? In spite of all of these hardships, he he pushes through. It is one of the best shows on the Green Channel and it, it, it puts a tear in my eye. Really, really just show you like how powerful the color green is. Oh my god. Our, our carpet is green. <gasps> our plant is green! Such good vibes. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure Lily is outside waiting for us. Uh, yeah, she, there she is. I have been waiting out there, here, for 24 hours. Nebby has gotten out of the bag twice. I was twice actually. Shut up. Okay, let me get my composure. The professor said, "Hey there, Lily. Bring me that great new trainer." Woo! God, it's so annoying when he says that. So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab, if you'll come with me, it's, um, it's this way. Matthew! Oh, hello, Mom. Uh, did, did you ever watch the Green Channel show that I mentioned earlier? I wasn't there at the time. I was staring at the boxes all day. Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. Probably gonna buy these. <laughs> Probably gonna buy some Magnum condoms for my gargantuan dong. <laughs> I was tempted to make that joke. Oh, well done, Matthew. You're already making friends, aren't you? She's not my friend. I don't even know her. What a cute little friend you found. We're not friends. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We just need to keep meeting wonderful people here. M me? Well, thank you. I, I am a wonderful person and, and definitely not don't have any secrets, especially in my bag. My name is Lily. Meowth. Big Meowth is watching. I feel like it's, like, inside of the house, it's like an Orwellian setting with, like, with, like, the Meowth. And, like, he just, like, says, You have to feed me my treats! Return to me! You have a very nice mother, don't you? Yeah, but, yeah, my, my father, he's a dick. He's, a, he's also a cat. He's, ve he's very anal about everything I do. Sometimes he'll, he'll wake me up early in the morning uh, by, by climbing into my bed and scratching my face and then hissing at me you can reach the professor's lab by treading through the tall grass here <laughs> apathetic bitch he says he can he can research moves better when he's surrounded by pokemon uh okay since i'm not a trainer though i have to rely on using repels all the time you do know that using repel keeps pokemon from attacking right i mean it's not like i've been playing pokemon since my childhood and knew about that already and about nebby uh, oh i mean cosmog cosmog seems to be very far away uh he's also a rare pokemon i saw the netherlands i heard it was very cold there and it seems to have a very strange power the netherlands can be very cold sometimes it used to have it used that power to save me once when I was in danger. The Netherlands, Nebby, but uh, but some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. Power of the Netherlands. <laughs> That's why only the Professor and Kahuna Hala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Uh, can you not tell anyone about Nebby or what he happened on the bridge, please? Uh, okay, so, uh, what about the Spiros family? Could I, could I tell them about it? Oh, Matthew, you know, you know something neat? Uh, yeah. You could reach the Pokemon Research Lab without having to go through any patches of tall grass if you jump down from this ledge. Just like this. Yep! Ah! I broke my ankle! Shit! Uh, but I'll be fine. If you'd like to take a shortcut, I suggest you try it, too. I'll be heading to the lab now, so see you there. And she just, like, limps all the way there.
that's actually pretty depressing. I don't, I don't know why I tried making that into a joke. Okay, so we got we got some Pokemon trainers. Uh, we got some grass. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna take my chances with the trainer. Let's go! Kneecaps! Oh my god, he's going for my knees! Oh my god, he does look like a crazed serial killer who murders people with their kneecaps. Like, he takes them out and then just throws them at the victim like a rock. Also, uh, I see that you have a baby Cthulhu on your team. Okay, that definitely makes sense. There's definitely some uh, cosmic horror aspects in into his backstory. So, like, I'm just gonna, like, assume what a Pokemon trainer's history is just by the Pokemon they have. Uh, and, yeah, NK. Uh, you, you, know, you know, there's something very interesting about NK. Like, his evolution method uh, is actually pretty unorthodox. But I think it's kind of cool. So, like, uh, what you have to do is, like, when NK is about to evolve into Malmalar, you gotta turn your 3DS upside down. Uh, but you don't know, then there's a lot of worries to think about, you know, because, like, you gotta turn it upside down, like, at, when it when it levels up. Or, or maybe you could just play, like, the entire game upside down, assuming that you would have an NK on your team. So, like, should I have an NK on my team? Uh, just for the, you know, the sake of, uh, playing the, the game upside down? I mean, you wouldn't see it, because, like, it's always gonna be right side up in the capture, but me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a... I'm gonna have a complete experience. It's like watching an episode of Stranger Things. Oh, ha 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 ha. Referential humor. Uh, the core foundation of the Big Bang Theory. Ah, brought to my knees! Man, this kid really, really is obsessed with knees. Uh, he, he needs to get out of that habit fast. Okay, what wild Pokemon is this? Oh, it's a Wingle. Hi. Hey, hey man. How's it going? Just flying around, enjoying the uh, the summer breeze. It's January. Yeah, I mean it, it, it's it's summer in Alola like all the time. There's like no no ounce of snow. That's a lie. There are mountains in Alola, a really tall mountain, and there's snow on them. You stop foreshadowing future locations. No, fuck you. Wow. Winkles are such dicks. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to take this, and uh, I found an awakening. Yes, uh, what, a, what a huge discovery. I, I, I have discovered something new today. I, I, have, I have been awoken, and uh, I, I have learned many new things about the world. All right, I'm just going to use a potion on double A real quick. And, uh, yeah, now I'm just going to... Okay, do I want to read the sign, or do I want to fight the trainer? Can I read signs from this side? Okay, you actually can't. Because, like, in, in, like, another game, like, for example, like, I think in the original gen poke, in, like, in the original Pokemon games, you could actually read a sign, like, if you were, like, directly behind it, and it was hilarious. But it seems like Nintendo wants to add more realism to their games. So now you can't! Wh whatever. So, yeah, young goose. Y you look like a young goose. I mean, no, you don't even look like a goose. What are you? WHAT ARE YOU?! Uh... Vice grip him! Before I have a... Before I overthink things and have a mental breakdown. Grip him! Grip, grip, grip him again! And then grip him a third time if you must! C can you stop leering at my grubbin? Uh, as, as he, as he squashes you to death with his... Big... Meaty... Mandibles? You got fangs. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, bye. Oh, shit, dude. Double A's level 7. Oh, boy. Uh, looks like we're gonna need, uh, 7 batteries to, uh... Okay, maybe I should have thought a little more ahead with that joke, but... Whatever. Okay, so, uh, now can we read the sign? Yes, we can. Trainer tips. The Pokemon that will appear first in a battle... Holy shit, information that I already know. Top left, that's where your Pokemon goes. Uh, bottom right, nobody knows. Maybe he's trapped in a in a void of darkness and, uh... Oh, hello. Do we have a promiscuous lady in a, in a bikini? Hi. The calm sea or the stormy sea? Which do you prefer? 
So is that like uh, an innuendo or something? Are you trying to seduce me? Well, it, it seems that you actually are, but uh, you're failing. Okay, I assume you're uh, you're taking a break from the USS Callister. Decided to come to Alola for for a vacation. Oh, and you have a wingle. Okay. So uh, I'm I'm trying to figure out your backstory. What 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 what's this all about? What you got? Like what what kind of fascinations do you have with the wingle? I just realized something. I realized something horrific. I am at a major disadvantage right now because wingle is a fire is a water flying type. Oh my god! Imagine if there's like a fire type wingle variant. That'd be so freaking interesting to see. Like if that actually happened. But seriously, like, water flying type. Double A is a bug type. Litty is a fire type. I don't I don't want I don't want Liddy getting his uh I don't want Liddy getting doused. So uh ne never mind. Uh we're all safe now. We're all safe here. I guess I prefer calm, at least for my opponents. Oh, okay. So you you like to go gentle and then stormy. It's fine. I, I don't I don't make judgments. So yeah, I'm just gonna go see what's over here on the uh, on the right side of the uh, of this part of the route. Let's let's see let's see. There, there's a lot of grass. We got this person in the grass, and oh my god, I have been ambushed by a wingle. Okay, yeah. So can I can I just uh, can I leave the battle? Uh, th there's one more NPC that I want to interact with before wrapping up today's episode. The Pokemon I've got with me are all Grass-type. I'm looking for some Water-type Pokemon for my team so I can beat Fire-types too. Uh, lucky for you, there are Wingles here that you can capture. Oh, and Slowpokes. Uh, but be careful of the Inkays because they will probably make you develop an obsession with kneecaps. Or something and oh yeah rug rough let's go give it everything you've got oh! I don't want to know what he's doing with that ruck rough in the dilapidated house my body is ready Woo! that only drives further the disturbing implications ah there they go again happens every fucking Tuesday but it's a Saturday I don't give a shit the Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. It's actually charmless. I've actually been, um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. Imposing? So, you, 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 are you two like a... Like a... Like a bickering couple? Kind of jailbait, don't you think? I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay... Oh my god! Implications are getting more disturbing! Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer too. Oh yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> the professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Are these all euphemisms or something? I don't want to think about it. Looks like we'll have to patch up the roof again. Or maybe I just have to while he's teaching his rock rough, uh, spikes. <laughs> and I have just watched his lab coat and finally gotten it clean too. Now it'll be in shreds. And I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy another new one. Ah, God. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. To himself or the rock rough or the house. I'm still thinking about it! <laughs> oh, yeah, his lab coat is just fine. I've been worried about it all day for the past 30 seconds. <laughs> hey there, Matthew. Thanks for getting him for me, Lily. That love disc just wants to go into hiding for a while. Of course, however I can be a, a, a help. I, I'm supposed to be your assistant, right? Rock Rub's moves were just so stylish, and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Matthew, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? Please don't do anything to my Pokedex that I might regret. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad, right? You know, for a dilapidated household that almost looks like a crack den, it actually looks pretty nice on the inside. But that's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived! It? What's wrong, Lily? 
Don't make me do all the talking. You see, you're, you're the most important exposition character in the world, so you gotta do what you gotta do. See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. <gasps> really? I've never heard of a Rotom before. Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. Uh, you can only catch him at night, so you, you better make sure that you're you're very careful. So, like, if you're like going to school and you wake up, you, have to, you gotta go to bed late because you gotta catch it. Make sure your parents don't find out, alright? Of something like electricity, it can take a residence in machines. Yeah, buddy, I had to put it, put that crazy skill of Rotoms to work. Okay, that's definitely Kukui speaking, but like, it, it, it would be odd if Lily just started talking like Kukui. It's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's the only complete one. It's only complete once Rotom has gone into this body specially developed for it. A whole new way for people and Pokemon to communicate. Don't say it. Don't say it, Kukui. Woo! Fuck you. And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And now if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in... I feel like there's gonna be a revolution with the, with the Rotoms and the humans. Like, because they, like, the Pokemon have been oppressed for so many years that they're just gonna fight back. And, and Rotom will be the only one to, to start the revolution. <laughs> hey now, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Zit. I have a zit? Rotom, here boy, I powered up your favorite decks. Give Matthew here a helping hand, yeah? Please stop making puns about Pokemon moves. Kazit! Uh, hey there. P pleasure to meet you. I'm, I'm not nervous or anything, okay? Okay, I'm gonna use the, uh, the Morty voice for the Rotom. It would make more sense. Check it out, Matthew. Now Rotom can talk right to you. It might take a while for it to get used to its new job, but I'd say Rotom is taking a liking to you. Dude, he looks freaking depressed. What did you do to him? And this will help out how exactly? Matthew hasn't been in Alola too long yet. So I decided to give him this special Rotom Dex to help him navigate around. Uh, nice to meet you, Rotom. Sup? So you wanna... You wanna get drunk at a bar or something, Rotom? You can see where you headed just by looking at Rotom, and if you give it a little tab, you can even check out the town map! Uh, you know, it sounds like something you would hear in a rap song. Kinda sounded like it rhymed. The fuck is my dime? Alola! Oh, god damn it. How? You were like that obnoxious character in a sitcom that just jumps into people's houses whenever. The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa! Look at this ladder! It's amazing! He's not even looking at the ladder. Now he is. Is that a loft? That's awesome! No, no, no. It's, it's, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. Oh, uh, so what secrets do you have up in the loft? I wonder. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Matthew? How? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. So, Matthew, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Matthew, yeah? I just want to die. Oh, jeez, Rick. Who the hell is Rick? So that's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. It's kind of sad. All right. All right then, Matthew. You too, How Get a move on. Okay. I don't know what I just agreed to. To the trainer school. Ah! I gotta go to school? Fuck. <laughs> You've gotta learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling, but there's a Rotom that I have to catch. It's a time-based event. <laughs> it's a long road to becoming the Island Challenge champion, and the trainer school is the first step. Education in a Pokemon game? You never you never saw that coming, now did you? I'm good, I just want to play with my Pokemon. No, you're going to school! The Island Challenge. So this is how the people of Alola connect with the world around them, huh? And then there's the way that you and Litten both chose one another, and now with Rotom helping you out as well. Even Nebby likes you. I, I guess there's something about that that makes Pokemon feel more comfortable when they're by your side. Lily, you take care of Matthew. Don't you dare say yeah. I'm getting fucking fed up with your catchphrases. 
I'm in sick of you dropping the F-bomb, bitch. <laughs> Until he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. Okay, so, uh, what now? So, uh... I guess I'm just gonna explore the loft and then see if there's anything interesting. Oh, there's a flat screen TV and oh my god, he watches the green channel too. That is uh, this this really cool. Also, are, are you okay, Rock Ruff? Ruff? Yeah, uh, it seems like you had a, a rough day. Ruff, fuff, bull. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go up. Uh, I'm gonna go up to Lily's loft in in spite of uh. She has a Murkrow up here. Why is there- where is there a Murkrow up in, in her- in her secret care- secret area? Nah, I'm not gonna think about it. I- I would think of a joke for this, but I- I got nothing. I seriously don't have anything, and- Okay, fine, I'll- I'll check on the Rotom and see how he's doing. Uh, so, uh, what's up, man? Okay, yeah, he's definitely not sad anymore because I poked him. You know, maybe I should, like, poke him every couple of minutes and- Oh, hey, look, this is, uh, this is, a uh, Poliwhirl. Goosh! Oh, so I assume that's, uh, what he did to the Rock Ruff earlier today? Well, let's read these books. On the number of Pokemon moves, as of this writing, scholars in this field have identified more than 600 distinct moves that can be used by Pokemon in battle. Blah, 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 blah. Look at all of these educational things that I'm totally not speeding over at all and reading very carefully. Okay, so now, uh, let's just, uh... Let's head down to, uh, okay, so, uh, there's something that I actually want to do before, uh, you know, stuff, but it looks like I'll, I'll go into details about it later. The Pokemon Center is practically right next to your house, isn't it, Matthew? Yes. Yes, it is. Ah. Everything has fallen into darkness. I had a horrific realization. The Pokemon Center is next to my house. I don't know why that would be so bad. Debbie, don't worry, it's okay. Uh, this must be what I call- what they call a solar eclipse. It happens when the sun gets covered up. By the moon? But it's six o'clock at night! I know, right? What is a solar eclipse forecast for today? Oh, well, let me, uh, it must be some kind of good omen. Yeah! <sighs> bad omen. An omen? You, you think something good will happen? Maybe you'll stop doing your catchphrases. Maybe you'll stop dropping the F-bomb. Fuck you! Fuck you! Sure, a long time ago, Alola was cloaked in darkness. But people say that when Alola's people and Pokemon blasted away all that darkness, uh, they replaced it with light or something. And then also they say that it's probably why people started gathering Z-Crystals and that custom turned into an island challenge. You see, this is what we refer to as an alternate universe. Because this part of the lore was not in the original games. Professor, that's not what he's supposed to... Blah blah blah, I've completely lost track on what we were talking about. Okay, so there's actually something I want to do. Uh, there's like one more thing uh, that that I want to like, you know, do. And and that is go to Icky Town. Uh, so I, I did say like back in the third episode, or I think it was like even before that, I said that I wanted to go back, you know, just to take a tour of the town and meet up with all the, the NPCs. Socialize. Things that I wouldn't typically do in real life. Okay, yeah, that's definitely a red flag. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna head over to Icky Town, uh, and I'll, 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 I'll see you there. With the power of editing, we arrived at such an icky place! Ah! Okay, whatever. Welcome to Icky Town. Uh, we're finally gonna be exploring this place more thoroughly, as I already said. Okay, so let's just look around, and, uh, let, let's see what, what, what's going on. It's, going on with the locals. It's said that ancient peoples rode over the waves and the seas together with their Pokemon to settle the Alola region. Oh, look at that, look at that lore. Different people interact with Pokemon in their own different ways. Please, don't go into any more details. For the love of God. No more elaborating on that shit. Okay, now let's go into this house and ooh, look at these people instead. The tall grass is like treasure trove full of all kinds of Pokemon just waiting to be found. Just having Pokemon at your side makes you feel all warm and shy, doesn't it? Eating dinner together, playing together, enjoy spending time together. It's pure happiness, especially when you eat the Pokemon for dinner. Do you think that actually happens in, in, in this place? Like, people actually eat Pokemon? I mean, like, there's, like, no indications of there being, like, other, like, animals. Just Pokemon only. So, you know, you know, in case, like, somebody needs, like, protein... 
How how would they get it? Like they eat the Pokemon. There's like no other explanation unless everyone here is vegan. And considering that like everyone here seems physically fit, I assume that it could that it could be the case. Uh, so, anyways, there's a rock over there. I'm not gonna worry about it, but it will come up at some point again. I'm very sure of that. What mysterious creatures. Pokemon sometimes leap out of the grass to help people in trouble, did you know? That happened to me once. But then the Pokemon turned back and, 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 and killed me. I am a ghost. What if, like, this entire playthrough is, like, uh, like the, the player character was actually a ghost? And, and the young goose in the beginning did actually kill them? That'd be a pretty dark, twisted twist. You know, it's also pretty messed up. The fact that we just broke into the Kahuna's house... These must be his slaves. You know the festival here in Nikki Town? Well, some... Blah, 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 blah. Look at this information I already was given to in the beginning. That Hala, he's too soft on young Hal. When Hal was just a little thing, he once saw Hala in a real fury, and old Hala's face was so terrible that when the the, the boy burst into tears, Hala couldn't do a thing to console him. Uh, it must explain why, why Hal is, like, so fucking unstable. The one traumatic incident. Now he's perpetually happy. But, but deep, deep down, he, he's a broken child. Like, who, who is desperately crying for help. Like, he's still seeing his uncle's angry face every night. Pamukimu is by the toilet. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is another, like, traumatic incident that happened to how Like, he was taking a shit, and then this thing came out of the toilet. And, uh... That, I'm sure that was a party. But not a good party. In fact, it's a... An unpleasant party, and oh my god. I, there is there's a, an Alolan executor outside of the house. Also, I'm sitting on a chair now. Uh, and nothing happened. This is the most important uh, transition in my life. We started this playthrough uh, walking on dirt roads. But today, we are making the transition to blacktop roads with sidewalks. Wow, I feel so relieved to, to have finally gone through such an important transition. Now we can continue the playthrough regularly. Here, let me show you the Pokemon Center. Follow me. Okay, we're, we're going inside of the Pokemon Center. I'm just going to keep narrating everything that's going on on screen instead of, you know, improvising and making jokes about what's going on on screen like I normally do. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. And she nods. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes, uh, people nodding certainly is amazing. Social cues are amazing. You know, it, 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 like, you, like one person, like a person could have like a very subtle curve in their eyebrows and you could tell what's going on in their head. I can't pick up on social cues. You can also deposit Pokemon in the PC here or take them out. Oh my god, I, I, I never knew that you could uh, convert Pokemon into 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 digital code and, and lock them away in a PC uh, to never be seen again. That's uh, th th that's pretty sad. As, as sad as me not being able to pick up on social cues. <laughs> what whatever. So uh, we should head to the trainer school next. Uh, but you know what I'm gonna do first. Uh, you wanna know the most important part that I need to do? Uh, I, I know my Pokemon, especially Double A, isn't really uh doing too well. I mean like he. He's still in the green, but he's not doing well emotionally. I'm gonna get me some coffee! Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. It's about 7 a.m. now in Alola, or, or is it 7 p.m.? I mean, like, it's kinda, kinda confusing, you know? Yeah, man. Here in our cafe space, we provide a moment of peace to our customers. What can I get started for you today? I want a lemonade, but we, we have fresh coffee. I want a lemonade! Okay, fine. Uh, you know, give give me a moment. It takes it takes hours to prepare such a such a, a delicious brew like this. A le lemonade. Uh, this is our cafe's original blend, made with plenty of freshly picked Alolan berries. We don't use lemons in our lemonade. We use uh, strawberries <laughs> that look like circles. Uh, those who keep moving have more time than those who don't move at all. That's not the same, some kind of riddle, it's scientific fact. 
Uh, once blah 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 blah. I don't really give a fuck about what you're saying. Uh, wait, did you put chocolate in my lemonade? That's what I'm picking up from this uh this dialogue. And I got a sweetheart. Oh, so you were talking about the sweetheart. So do I put the the sweetheart in the lemonade? We'd like to offer you some poke your Pokemon something on the house. And yeah, this is how you get your Poke Beans. Uh, yeah, yeah, you feed your Pokemon beans and they like you. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not a good trainer, so, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that. If you use communication features to trade Pokemon with a friend, you'll both be happy. It basically doubles your happiness. Uh, so, like, if I trade my Pokemon, like, a level 2 Young Goose, to a friend who has a level 2 Rattata, it makes us both happy. But, but the Rattata has a mustache, and it's intimidating... For whatever reason, maybe because I'm trying to make a joke and it just seems stupid. But anyways, uh, I don't think I'd be very happy if that were the case. And anyways, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna like buy maybe two of each uh, status inflicting item or maybe one of each. Uh, you know, just I just want to have. I, I want there to be an equilibrium. I need two of every uh, status restoring items. So yeah, there we go. Uh, now we, we we did that, and I think now what we can do is we're just gonna like head out uh, to the trainer school. Yeah, I I am begrudgingly getting an education in the in the world of Pokemon, where education is the the least prioritized thing. But unfortunately, this is the game that makes it an exception. It's a what in the world? Yeah, school, right? It's incomprehensible to Pokemon trainers. Oh yeah, you were you were you saw a Tauros over there. I was more focused on the building that we are standing in front of. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros there. Well, it looks like uh, my Pokemon journey has been permanently hindered. That's the only way we can progress. I mean, we could just like walk past the Tauros and assume that it's not gonna be hostile. I mean, is w would that work? Why? Uh, more what? I JUST WANT MORE! I have a feeling that Tauros has issues. Yeah, that's coming from the guy who can't pick up on social cues. Wonder what that's foreshadowing. Anyways, now it's time to go to school and become the, the most bullied kid in the school. Hey there, Matthew! I must have passed you two somehow. But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer! Even though I already know how to be a Pokemon trainer, I mean, it's pretty basic. You throw your Pokemon at somebody, you beat them up, and you take their money. Yeah, Matthew's a real tough one, too. Put him through the ringer good, Teach. Four trainers! You've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the school, Matthew! Oh, so I, I, don't, I don't have to spend, like, uh, ten months learning the, the, the whole curriculum? I can just, like, beat up four Pokemon trainers and I graduate? You know what? I think that's pretty fair. And this is somebody who's graduated from school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll learn things, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going into the classrooms to talk to people. Though I'm probably going to contradict myself in, like, a minute. Okay, uh, let's just get this goddamn, like, four Pokemon trainer battling curriculum over with. Uh, so, yeah, do I want to fight this trainer over here? Uh, she, she has a tennis racket. I'm, I'm a little worried that if I, like challenged her to a battle, she might do something, like, you know, cruel and hit me with the tennis racket. Th that is quite pragmatic, but you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna wait a little while. Uh, actually, th I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna explore the school grounds and, uh, see if I can find any items. Uh, is there one over here? Okay, I thought there was actually something over this way, but there isn't. Oh, uh, we got these two over here. Ready, and grass, fire, water! Uh, which one wins again? Which would win in a matchup between fire types and grass types? Uh, in a matchup between fire types and grass types? Uh, it would have to be water. No, no, like, okay, seriously, like, when I played this, uh, this little mini game, I guess it's a mini game, for the first time, like, I thought it was, like, who, who would win, like, against these two types? Like, I, I didn't really pick up on the fact that, uh, it was, like, fire versus grass. I thought it was fire versus grass versus water. Who would, who would win in this equation? But anyways, um, we're just, uh, 
We're, 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 we're exploring this part of, of the school. You know, where the grass is, where the, where the hostile wildlife resides. Like, you, you keep walking around the grass, you could run into something as dangerous as a magnemite. Seriously, there are magnemites, like, floating around the school, and th that's not a... That's, that's not a terrifying thing. I mean, like, seriously, like, a kid could be, like, playing, like, at the playground. Well, they do have a basketball court. So, yeah, the kids are, like, playing, uh... They're playing hopscotch at the basketball court, and then a magnemite shows up. And then, like, accident, and then it gets, then they accidentally get themselves electrocuted. That, that would be very, very bad. And you know what's also bad? I completely forgot to heal, but you know what? Fuck it. I am paying for the consequences of my negligence. And I'm just gonna keep using Mud Slap on this, this ass hat until, uh, it faints. Or at the very least, it's like, accuracy is reduced to nothing. It, like, it'll be, it, it will miss every time. Yeah, you, you see, you see that? That, that was only an illusion. Uh, it, it, the, uh, the Grimer definitely missed me. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna switch over to, uh, Litty. So, uh, why don't, why don't we do that? Okay, uh, I, I sent a, a cat to go after, a, a, like, a green, like, pile of... Well... Eh. And I'm gonna burn it! And I'm gonna hope there aren't any detrimental effects uh, that happen, especially to the environment. I mean, the, 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 these palm trees all over the school, the, 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 they're probably gonna... The, their leaves are probably gonna turn purple, and uh, they may actually just become palms with no uh, leaf fingers. It's a very weird metaphor for pollution, but whatever. Okay, uh, you know what? Both my Pokemon got poisoned, and uh, I think now would be a great time to uh, introduce the... Uh, the, 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 the taking care of your Pokemon thing. I, I can't comprehend this. I, I, I just can't. Like, you, you, you can care for your Pokemon, that you, you can make them love you. No, po Pokemon are tools of war. Like, there's a war that we have to be prepared for against the Digimon. And we, we, we can't, we can't show love to our Pokemon. We gotta turn them into, into mindless beasts. Like, that, that, that will be ready to kill on a moment's notice. Also, have a bean. Here, here you go. Here's a, here's a heart-shaped bean. Um, imagine this is a Digimon's heart. <laughs> Alright, and uh, now I guess we're gonna have to do the same thing with, uh, Grubbin. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll do that. Alright, alright, double A. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this, uh, this, 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 this ball, like, this little, whatever they're called. The little cotton ball with pee on it, and that should heal you up immediately. Yeah, whenever your Pokemon is poisoned, just just pee on them. It definitely won't like intensify the sting or anything. Yeah, you don't don't even bother like getting them the immediate medical attention. As as long as uh, you pee on them, they'll be okay. Any anyways, uh, you know who's not okay right now? My Rotom. But you know what? I don't give a shit. I'm go I'm I'm just gonna like ignore him for as long as I as I possibly can. Oh my god, like, he just looks so sad. I'm starting to feel guilty. Should I, should I, like, check up on him and see if he's okay? Uh, you know what, fuck it, I will. Yeah, hi. And anyways, uh, we got ourselves another trainer over here. Do I want to fight them? Well, yeah, I, I could definitely, like, have my, my level 7, like, half-defeated whatever the, his name is go up against whatever Pokemon she has. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. If my precious Bonsly takes damage on a Pokemon battle, I'll want to use a potion on it. Or you could just, like, uh, beat it with a tennis racket and then call it very horrible names. Because it'll definitely make a Pokemon stronger. Yeah, yeah, I totally don't care about their well-being as long as they become powerful warriors! Okay, so, uh... Yeah, I'm sending in my bug to go up against a, a bonsai plant. That's not even like a plant at all. It's 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 not a plant. It's a rock type. Uh, but guess what? I, I I can slap some mud on its face, and uh, yeah, you you can keep crying like the little bitch that you are. It's not gonna change the fact that inevitably the, the you, know, you will succumb to the mud. And then, plus, I don't even think that's that's mud. Uh, I don't think Double A has used the bathroom throughout this adventure at all, and he's finally letting out some steam. Uh, so yeah, 
Yeah, you, you, you can keep crying. Uh, you're still gonna get mud thrown in your face. Let, let, let this be a lesson to, to everybody. Uh, that if you, if you want to not get hit with mud, you simply have to use a potion. And, uh, it, it, it cancels out all of the hard work that they've done. Well, uh, there's gotta be a way to take him out. Uh, you know what, I think after this, uh, this trainer battle, I'm gonna wrap up today's episode. Uh, but whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, send in... I'm, I'm gonna send in my, my cat to take out a, a fake plant. I'm going to lick it. Lick it good! Okay, you know what, licking may not be the most efficient method, but you wanna know what is? Burning it. But fire is the purest death. Game of Thrones is an amazing show, by the way. Uh, yeah. Uh, is there anything else I want to say about it? No, Game of Thrones is just really good. Well, 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 what's the show about? There's a lot of boobies in it. That's all you need to know. But like, what, 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 what is the setting? Like, like, what, what, what is the end goal of the series supposed to be? Besides making money, uh, you know, there's there's boobs in it, there's there's dragons in it, but m more importantly, there's boobs in it. And that's where we wrap up today's episode of Pokemon Ultra Moon.